Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on HBAR. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about HBAR. And once again, this is the one day chart. We're sitting here just under seven and a half cents. You know, we literally only pull back like three cents, but I still look at it as a buy the dip moment. Because if I could get H bar cheaper in any way, I'm going to take advantage of that. And you know, this market is going to turn around all throughout 2024. And it's going to be a very big year for crypto. Prepare for it now. How can tokenization and blockchain technology change money market funds? And it looks like Aberdeen is going very big on tokenization this year. Money markets are just the beginning for fund tokenization as asset managers ramp up their blockchain tokenization projects. We can expect to see more products coming to market. For many, the goal is to use tokenization to bring private market investments to the masses. Some have made moves in this space already, although few, if any, have really tested the market demand. With limited use of public blockchain and connectivity to traditional distributed channels, expect to see that change in 2024 as a Aberdeen and others bring more tokenized products to market. So they're already planning on a very big year. And you know, I think Hedera is going to capture a good percentage of tokenization. That's going to be a big factor in the price of HBAR going forward. HCS 20, over 3 million transactions since the 4th of this month. And this also brings value back to Hedera. I think they collect fees from this on transactions. But I also plan to see this pick up over time as well. Dovu will explode. Mark my words. Many will miss this price action. Remember, invest in quality products, projects. Money will follow eventually. Did you know Dovu Official is backed by Creative UK, a fund backed by the UK government, and also a founding member of the Mobi with major mobility car manufacturers and service providers, Ford, General Motors, Renault, BMW, ZF, and Bosch. Why I'm bullish on Dovu. You know, I didn't, I never bought Dovu before until I started making videos on HBAR. And I kept reading in the comments section, people were mentioning Dovu. I started looking at it. Then I ended up buying some. I'm going to continue to buy more because of this right here. The global carbon offset market was valued at $331 billion in 2022 and is expected to grow at CAGR of 31% from 2023 to 2028. By 2028, it will be a $1.6 trillion market. Dovu Official is one of the major players in this market. The fully diluted market cap of Dovu is only $5.5 million. Just think. You know, I see this becoming something very big over time. I looked at it as an easy money maker for me. That's why I invested in Dovu. But you all got me to invest in it. Strange, because usually I'm supposed to be the one telling you how great a project is. Definitely HBAR, leaderless, ABFT, guaranteed fair order transactions with verified time stamps, 100% certainty of consensus, finality in 3.5 seconds, way less than a penny, fixed fees, way less than one kilowatt per hour per transaction, state proof, secure sharding, infinite scalable transactions per second. But this really puts it into perspective. You see Bitcoin, 10 transactions per second. Ethereum, 25 transactions per second. Hedera, 100,000 plus transactions per second. You know, talking about Bitcoin, it's like talking about a flip phone. Talking about Ethereum is like the first slide phone where the keyboard slid out of it. Talking about HBAR and Hedera is like talking about the newest iPhone that just came out yesterday. You know, 
it shows you how far we have come since Bitcoin. And yet people still be think that Bitcoin is the future. Not anymore. Bitcoin is slowly becoming irrelevant. And all this ETF talk right now, it's like one big distraction to keep you away from the real prizes, like HBAR. Just running a DEX on the greenest ledger doesn't mean that you're in the greenest DEX. The greenest DEX is HBAR sweep. Smart contracts use substantially more energy and network resources to execute. Even if Hedera HBAR built a native smart contract service, it is unlikely that it would have the energy efficiency of the native services. It isn't just a, less expensive for the user, it's less expensive for the network and the planet. You know, when you see something like that, energy efficiency, that is key today. Because everybody's talking about that right now. It's the narrative at a government level all around the world. And yet people still think that Bitcoin is going to be relevant going forward. That's what I'm saying. These ETFs are five years too late in my opinion. But again, it's going to be a rug pull on retail. The institutions are going to end up making all the money. But it's nice to see that everything around Hedera is already built with sustainability in mind because that would lead to less problems later. Think about carbon offsets. We're going to all be buying them at some point in the future because that's not, not nothing's going to change that. That's, that's why I tell you, invest in it. Get, get rich from it while you still can because there's no stopping it at this point. You know, everybody says, we're going to fight back against this. We're going to fight back against that. People are fighting back against CBDCs, yet they're still coming. you got to enrich yourself before it's too late, is what I'm telling you. Don't forget, Hedera will have continuous presence throughout the week at Davos. And again, people will fud on this. They'll say, look at HBAR, also tied to the World Economic Forum. But you know, this is not going to keep me from investing in HBAR. And it's definitely not going to make me sell my HBAR. This shows you that Hedera and HBAR are going to be with us in the long term. They're the future. Otherwise, they would not be at Davos. You don't see Satoshi at Davos, do you? You don't see Vitalik Buterin at Davos, do you? No, you see Hedera Hashgraph, Ripple, Stellar, Casper Labs. You see Alliance Block there. Because these are the cryptocurrencies of the future. They know that this is the technology that's going to lead us to the new financial system. Invest in it now and get rich. Steam. Now, I heard of this token. It's a token that will be used soon in the metaverse game built on Hedera. You can follow Earthlings Land and check their Discord for more information. I believe Earthlings is going to be absolutely massive. And it's going to continue to grow year over year. And this new Steam token is something else I'm going to look into in the future. Now, in previous videos, I talked a lot about Internet of Things and Hedera. But I also talk about DeFi because DeFi leads to passive income. I want to see more projects around that as well. But one thing I want to point out is right here. In addition to enhancing supply chain management and revolutionizing digital identity verification, Hedera is also redefining financial services in the digital world. Its platform allows for swift, cost-effective transactions, breaking down barriers to financial inclusion, and fostering global economic participation. Again, Hedera is going to be tied to a lot of transactions inside the new financial system. But Hedera is also going after micropayments as well. And that's another massive market that's out there that a lot of people don't even pay attention to. But those micropayments add up, and it's a lot of transactions that happen on a daily basis. Hedera's impact extends to the rapidly growing field of affiliate marketing as well. 
In this digital age, affiliate marketers seek platforms that offer quick, transparent, and secure transactions. Hedera's technology addresses these needs by streamlining payment processes and ensuring the integrity of transaction data. Every single market will be affected by micropayments and the Internet of Things going into the future. Think smart cities. Hedera is at the heart of it all, is what I'm saying. And that's why I'm telling you, right now you look at HBAR and you think to yourself, it's sitting here at seven cents. But I'm thinking long term on HBAR. I'm thinking HBAR will be a three digit asset at some point in the future. January 2021. Now, some people ask me about this in the comment section on other videos. They talk about that EFT post. And it happened in Australia first. Australia's most important electronic payment system joins Google and Boeing, etc. in blockchain Hedera. They promise to use it to develop smart cities, driverless cars, and digital ID. That was back in 2021. And now it's talked about in 2023 around the Federal Reserve. As many of you may have already seen, EFTPOS is mentioned five times in the FedNow documentation. That's because it's also tied to micropayments as well. I think EFTPOS is going to work alongside drop inside of FedNow. But I also think we're going to see that evolve around smart cities in the future and Internet of Things. But I wanted to point that out, that that project is still growing out and expanding. Navigating through 37 billion transactions feels like a marathon. Testing our patience, speed up the journey, Hadera. Flip the switch, elevate us to a stellar 5K transactions per second, and let the HBAR rocket launch commence. You know when I think this is really going to pick up? When drop starts going live, coupon bureau starts going live, other micropayment you know, companies that are building out, other micropayment projects that are building out on Hedera start to pick up and expand and grow out as well. We're going to see a lot of transactions throughout 2024. Again, that's why I'm saying it's going to be a very big year. H Barbarians, question is for you. Are you mentally ready for $2.50 H Bar? Let me know. Comment below. It's going to be life changing. You better be ready for $2.50 when our trading volume is $1 billion plus. The moves will be wild. Honestly, I think we're going beyond $2.50 in this next run. I think we're going to be closer to in somewhere in between $3 and $4. But I don't think we're going to get a major pullback. Everybody keeps saying, oh, in this next run, make sure you take profit because we're going to have that major pullback. But everybody's expecting it. But what if utility kicks in and we continue upward from there? That's what I'm worried about when it comes to crypto now. You know, years ago, we had market cycles. Sure, you took profit and you got out. Now, with utility, it's a little bit harder because nobody ever seen a utility run before. They don't know how long it lasts, and they don't know what kind of prices that something like HBAR can achieve. And that's what got me worried. That's why I'm looking towards passive income and holding on to my crypto. But until it all happens, stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.